think about the curvature and the normal vector of a curve. So what is the curvature? The curvature is actually the rate in which the t, the tangent, unit tangent vector, turns in per unit s, which is the length. As you previously learned before, the t is actually equal to v over the magnitude of v. So by using this information, we actually can find the curvature of the curve. The measurement of a curvature is in terms of kappa, which is k. The differentiation is actually equal to the differentiation of the unit tangent vector in terms of s, the length. So by using the chain rule method, we actually can simplify this formula to this. This is 1 over the magnitude of v times the differentiation of the tangent over the length of time. So the normal is actually 90 degrees to the tangent. So it actually shows the direction of which the curve curves. In this case, it actually points to the left. This is because the normal always points to the concave part of the curve. So moving on to the equation. The differentiation of t in terms of s is actually the tan is 90 degrees to the tangent. So by dividing by the kappa, we actually can obtain the unit normal vector. And by simplifying the equation to this, which is equals to the differentiation of tangent in terms of t divided by its magnitude. We actually do not have to go through the hassle of finding the slang and also the kappa. We can directly just find the normal just like this. So I give a brief for you to think about this and I'll pass the next part to Jason Wong. Hi, it's me again. So now after Jeremy has explain to you the theory, so now let's try a question. So let's say how to find the unit tangent vector, the normal and the kappa for the curve RT equals to 3 sin Ti plus 3 cos Tj plus 4 Tk. So first we have to find the unit tangent vector. So now we know that T equals to V over the magnitude of V. So to get V, we have to differentiate this function. So this so we will if dr dt equals to 3 cos ti minus 3 sin tj plus 4k. So that now we find the magnitude of V. E. So first we have to square each component, i, j, and k, and square root the whole thing. So in the end we get 5. So yeah. Okay, so to find t, t equals to V over the, the magnitude of V. So, which equals to the 3 cos Ti minus 3 sine Tj plus 4k over the magnitude, which is 5. So, in short, it becomes 3 over 5 cos Ti minus 3 over 5 sine tj plus 4 over 5 k. Welcome back. So after we found t, so we had to find n, the normal. So as we know that n equals to the differentiation of the unit tangent vector over time, in terms of time, sorry, and divided by the magnitude of the differentiation. So dt over dt equals to the negative 3 over 5 sine ti minus 3 over 5 cos tj. So the magnitude of this differentiation is the same. So we square the, X, the i component and the j component and square root it. So in the end we get 3 over 5. Okay. So the normal therefore will equate to negative 3 over 5 sine ti minus 3 over 5 cos tj divided by 3 over 5. So 3 over 5 cancelled off. So therefore it will equate to negative sine ti minus cos tj. We'll come back. So after we found t and n, so we, now we find the kappa k. So from before we know that k equals to the 1 over the magnitude of v times the magnitude of dt dt. So 
from before we know that the magnitude of V is 5 and the magnitude of dt dt is 3 over 5. So kappa will equal to 1 over 5 times 3 over 5. It equals to 3 over 25. That's all for our video. Thank you.